I have been warned not to spill the beans, but there are plans beyond, beyond that season, plans to start touring again, uh, plans to, 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 to bring brand new works, massive works to Tulsa. And that's good news. The Tulsa Ballet planning a reveal for their new season this evening at 530. That is the company prepares for its final and biggest show of this season. As Julie Chin shows us in the rebound green country, the Tulsa Ballet has had to get creative this past year and they're ending this season with a twist. The dancers here at the Tulsa Ballet are some of the best dancers I've worked with. <laughs> Choreographer Jennifer Weber's career stretches all the way from the wonderful world of Disney to London's West End. Now, this internationally celebrated artist is putting her unique spin on Tulsa Ballet. This is my first time really back in a studio with dancers creating something live in person. It feels amazing. Let's rock! And this rehearsal is the first time the company is on the same stage at the same time since the pandemic began. Every single piece so far has been choreographed via Zoom. The dancers were divided in four different pods and they were working in four different studios and they were all connected via uh, video conference. All now fully vaccinated, physicians have cleared the dancers to be together. Weber, the first choreographer working with them in person. That's not the only first she brings to this stage. I met Marcello through uh, my cousin, actually, who's a, who danced with Marcello back in the day. And he was like, would you want to come to the Tulsa Ballet and create a hip hop piece for these dancers? And I was like, that is the craziest ask ever. Um, and yes, absolutely. Weber's here to help these ballerinas take the leap into hip hop. Something Tulsa Ballet has never done. It's been really cool to see like where our styles overlap, where they're different. Like, you know, hip hop is very down, ballet is very up, but then, you know, you could find all this like amazing space in between. Weber's 12 minute piece with a remix of music by Outkast is called The Ghost Light. A ghost light being the sole light left on on stage when the rest of the theater goes dark. Legend has it, that's when ghosts of performers past come out. I was thinking about how all the theaters are dark all across America and all these all these ghost lights are, are left on for maybe a whole year instead of just an evening and what those ghosts would create if they had a whole year to put together a performance. The ghost light will be the finale of Tulsa Ballet's upcoming production, The Celebration, the performance highlighting Tulsa Ballet's past, present and future. We are going to go from point shoes uh, to classical ballet, tutus, uh, all the way to, again, hip hop. It tells everybody we're not going to stand still. The future looking brighter for our dark theaters, a sign of hope for audiences and the performers waiting in the wings. I think in this moment, it's such a special opportunity to see a live performance, to be part of a live performance. Um, and I wanted to make sure that when people leave the theater, they feel just so inspired and feel like anything is possible. The celebration will be Tulsa Ballet's final production of this season. Performances will be held May 13th and 16th at the Cox Convention Center Grand Hall. There will also be an option to watch via live stream on May 14th. We'll link all the details on our website, kjrh.com. In Tulsa, Julie Chin, two works for you. So creative, isn't it? Can't wait to see it. Well, the Tulsa Ballet did reveal next season's lineup just in the last half hour online. We'll have those details for you on cagerage.com and in our free two works for you app.